Hey guys, this is uh, AD uh, at uh, preparedham.com, uh, the website that was started because of Angry Americans Book Going Home series. Um, everybody wanted to get into ham radio after after that book series, uh, since I was the um, subject matter expert uh, in the beginning, getting Morgan uh, hooked up with Sarge and ham radio. Uh, helped Chris out with that before he became a licensed operator. Um, so that's my background. That's how the website got started. Today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, EMP protection. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is something I've been playing around for a while. I've talked to Chris about it, AA Angry American. Um, and I don't know if it'll work in a real EMP, uh, but you know what? I found some uh, uh, things with some telephones, and I'm going to do a little test here to show you um, how it works um, uh, from, from this standpoint. Uh, basically, what we have here are dog food bags, dog food and cat food bags. Uh, the thing about these bags are, I don't know if you can see that, but they are mylar inside. So they're aluminized plastic. Um, and I got to thinking that most uh, <clears throat> EMP bags that you have either have some type of uh, wire mesh inside of them or they're a, an aluminized, like a mylar type of plastic. So I got to thinking, because I have lots of animals that we feed them this stuff, uh, I'm going to do a little test here for you, kind of live uh, impromptu test, and uh, let's see what happens. So two different phones here. I'm going to call this phone or this phone, and you're going to see that it actually works. So you can see here that it actually works. I'm watching the levels on my computer uh, camera control screen over here. So we're going to shut that off. We're going to take this phone. We're going to stick it inside the dog food bag. Most of these do have Ziploc type closures on them. So we're going to put this on the inside. We're going to Ziploc this, and then I'm going to fold it over a couple times for shits and giggles. Put, fold it over a couple times. Okay, I fold it over. I'm going to put the microphone here, and we're going to call it again. It is dialing. Now it's ringing. It's ringing multiple times. Nothing through the bag. Last time I tried this, I had to do two layers of bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the phone back out of this bag. And I'm going to clear the screen because we can see we've got missed calls. Both of these are my phones, so they're going to be coming directly from me. So I'm going to clear the call screens. So I've got no more missed calls. <clears throat> we can see two of them from there for me from this phone. Both of these are mine. One's a real estate phone, one's not. So I'm going to uh, redo this again. So you can see up front. There are no indications that a call has come through. I'm going to call it once again, and I'm going to show you what happens when that, when that happens. So we see it coming through. I'm going to let it ring through to the message to show you what indicator I get. So now it's going to message. And we see here that there is one missed call showing up there. So I'm going to clear that right there is that missed call. So I'm going to clear that message. And we're going to stick this back in. <clears throat> so this time I'm not going to fold it. I'm just going to stick it in one level. Put the microphone there. We're going to recall it. So it's dialing, and it is ringing. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to clear that call again. You see the little one there next to the phone? So it shows me I've got a missed call there. So I'm going to, that's cleared. 
going to go back to the main screen. See again on the very bottom, there's no little one next to the phone there. Um, so I'm going to stick it back in. Now I'm going to seal it one time with the Ziploc seal. We're going to call again. Let's listen. So sealed it one time and it's still ringing. <clears throat> We're going to get it down to the bottom. I'm going to fold this over a couple times. Let some of the air out so I can get it flat. Then reseal it. I'm going to put this microphone back over and we're going to call again. So it's dialing. Dialing. And you can hear the microphone on this phone. And I'm getting nothing from the phone in the bag. So, impromptu test. Will it work for an EMP? It's working for uh, the frequencies that the phone are working on. So if you had multiple layers, again, Mylar bag, silver on the inside, or plastic coated Mylar uh, treated on the inside. So with uh, aluminized foil. You never know. It could be an EMP-proof bag for you. Uh, it could be um, an, uh, something to supplement your uh, metal trash can with the um, cardboard on the inside of it. But and it goes to show you that you may have some things laying around your house that may work better for EMP protection than you can actually buy and actually be cheaper because if you have a lot of animals like me, you go through this crap a lot. Anywhere, adpreparedham.com. Uh, go to the website, preparedhead.com. There's a blog site there. You can see a list for forums at the top. Click there. If you're a ham radio operator, uh, go in there. I'd love to have your input, get the site going again. Uh, if you're not a ham radio operator and you want to learn how to become a ham radio operator, we can help you there with all the things that you need to know. Got plenty of people that still go there and are active. Um, I also have a Facebook page, um, uh, Prepared Ham. Uh, I'll list all those links at the end of this video and you get to take a look at it. Again, AD here for preparedham.com doing an impromptu EMP test. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's valuable for you. Thanks. Thanks.